guys, my name is Kirsty Yardongs the Bourne, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we hail from Idaho and it's Silverwood Theme Park. Now this has been this park has been teasing for the 2021 season. Uh, with like a, a reminder that it's been you know five years since the last teaser. Now I know a lot of people have commented down below that post and said coaster, coaster, coaster. I'm gonna look at it very differently. I'm going to look at the current coaster lineup. I'm going to look at the other attractions lineup, and then I'm going to share my predictions. Now, I've got one. Well, I've got I've got you know different predictions for each one. I've got a water slide prediction. I've got a family or thrill ride prediction, and then I've got a coaster prediction uh, out of a couple of options. So I'm looking at different types of rides in this video because then it's not just about coasters, is it? Because I think potentially it's not going to be a coaster, and I'll explain why in a bit. But for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Do all that fantastic stuff that you guys have been doing uh, for, for for so many years now on this channel for the for the past two full years we've been on YouTube you guys have always been sharing the channel getting people into the channel people stumbling across the videos on the recommend I think uh, to be fair to, I, I, to be fair I think a couple of people found this channel because one one of my videos is on the recommended page I think I saw in the comments somewhere on a, on a past video so um you know, if my channel pops up on your recommended page, give it a subscribe, click the notification bell as well. And um, yeah, make sure you do sh make sure you do share all that good stuff with the channel and uh, get your merchandise photos in. Uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter links, all in the description down below. And uh, for now, guys, let's have a look deep and let's have a look at predicting Silverwood's lineup. But first, we have to have a look at the teaser that started it all. So Silverwood put on their official social media pages. It has been 1,788 days, but who's counting, since we teased that a new ride was coming to the park. That changes today. We are excited to announce that something fun is coming in 2021. Now, the original teaser poster uh, had the original What's New in 2016 teaser uh, from the Boulder Beach Water Park. Uh, and then, as you can already see on your screen, I've got the... Uh, 2021 teaser photo which is new fun in 2021 it's got that classic vintage writing style um, and it's got the it's got the sort of nice classic style about it so uh, that's the teaser now let's start predicting things before we have a look at my predictions I'm gonna have a look at the current coaster lineup and other attractions lineup just to see if I can find some gaps in their lineup. So let's start off with the other rides and attractions. So in terms of other rides at the park, uh, they've got the Antiques Car Ride. Um, they've got Barnstormer. Uh, they've got the Kitty Copters. They've got Crazy Cars. They've got Panic Plunge, which is their last international drop tower. And they've got a Paratrooper, just to name you know a few of the rides. Now, in terms of the coaster lineup, they've got six roller coasters currently at the park. The last one was built in 2014, but the last thrill coaster was built in 2008. So this might give you some clues. Uh, so let's have a look then. So in 1990, the park's currently operating first coaster was the Corkscrew, built by Aerodynamics. And then six years later, in 1996, a custom coaster's international wooden coaster came in with Timber Terror. Now, 1998 saw the installation of a Zamperla-powered mini mine coaster known as Tiny Toot. In 1999, the year afterwards, they built another CCI Woody uh, called Tremors. Then in 2008, so this was you know nearly 10 years since Tremors, they built Aftershock, which was relocated uh, from Six Flags Great America, which operated as Deja Vu from 2001 to 2007. And then in 2014. They introduced an SBF Visa Spinner MX608 part model known as the Crazy Coaster. So that is looking at the coaster lineup and the other, and just a few, a few of the sort of standout rise and attractions. I'm sure uh, they have more rise and attractions like this, which I've already had a look at, and I've marked them all down. Uh, but I just wanted to mention a few of the other rise and attractions there, not to dwell on that too much. But Prediction time. So let's start with our water slide prediction. Now, one water slide that I've seen in their lineup at the Boulder Beach Water Park that I think they're missing is a skybox, which is like your your bonsai pipelines at the Six Flags Parks. It's your one minute you're standing, next second trap door opens and you drop however many stories the slide is. Now, I 
personally believe that this could be a water slide addition, and you've got to think about it because um, it's been a while since they've added to their Boulder Beach water park. In fact, I think I heard from somewhere that they haven't really added to their water park uh, since it originally opened. So, um, well, hardly. So, I think that the fact they've hardly added to the Boulder Beach water park as much is. You know, obviously we saw the teaser from 2016, the add to the Boulder Beach, you know, a few years ago. But, you know, in terms of major water slides, I don't think they've added any major water slides since the park, since the water park opened. So, I think that a skybox would be a good modern thrill water slide to add to the park. Now, of course, the only downside to this prediction is the fact that the teaser picture for 2021 doesn't show the Boulder Beach logo, but on the other hand, it doesn't show the Silverwood Park logo. So we don't know who is it for. Uh, but I think with the no, I think we would have known if it was a Boulder Beach expansion or a Boulder Beach edition if it showed the logo, or if it showed something more wavy and more water park themed. So because the teaser doesn't look water park themed, I really don't think it will be a water park edition. I think it will be addition to the dry park. Um, so, but I think in the future, I think they could add one of these bo uh, skybox uh, trapdoor water slides to the water park. So, uh, that is a possibly a future addition, but maybe not 2021. So, let's have a look at the flat ride. So, my flat ride, family thrill ride package, uh, or individual rides predictions is between three types. Three types. And that is a Zamperla Endeavour, a Zamperla Giant Discovery and a pair of Larson Flying Scooters. Now, Zampella Endeavour and Larson Flying Scooters, I think would come as part of a family rides package. Now, the reason why I think that is because I personally believe that those two would come together as like a pair of DV-ish uh, family rides for all ages, should we say. And I think they come better as a pair rather than separate attractions. I think it looks better as a, as a pairing, like a package. Um, so obviously we got you guys know about the Zampella Endeavour a lot. We talked we've talked about it on the channel loads of times. And you know, this is your modern day enterprise ride, it's your Zampella version. It's spotted at many different theme parks around the world. Dreamland Margate here in the UK. Um, you know, it's 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 at the Six Flags Park, it's got Supergirl Skyflyer, which is gonna be coming uh, next year at Six Flags New England. Bit sad about the Six Flags announcements. We're not getting an announcement video, and it looks very likely that there's going to be no new capital investment in 2021, which is the right decision, but it is a shame. Uh, but um, you know, with the Zampello Endeavours taking it in terms of new ones, taking a year off from Six Flags, maybe we could see a new one at Silverwood as part of a package or separately. Um, Along with that, in my opinion, that should be in a package with the Endeavour is the Larson Flying Scooters. Now, this is a brilliant modern family attraction. A modern classic family attraction that I think could be a good fit for Silverwood. And it'd be a great fit for their family rides lineup. And I don't think they've added a lot. Uh, they've added a lot of family rides in recent years. But in terms of a pair of Larson Flying Scooters, I think that's the one attraction, the one family ride that they're missing at the park. So... I think that the flying scooters would be a great addition to the park, and I think it would be a great addition to the family rides lineup. But I think if they bring the Endeavour and the flying scooters together, it would be a decent package of rides. Now, the other side of the thrill ride predictions is, aside from the package, they could do one thrill ride, and my prediction in terms of an extreme thrill ride is a giant discovery from Zamperla. Now, of course, they've worked with Zamperla in the past on the Barnstormer attraction, uh, so Zamperla is going to get mentioned with the family rides and the thrill rides. Um, so the giant discovery, you can find that at Six Flags Park, you can find that everywhere. Uh, they could go along the other side of that kind of frisbee ride, they could go along the Interman Gyro Swing route, but, you know, again, you know, would we see a giant discovery at this park? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but I think that a giant discovery would be a better fit for the park. The gyro swing wouldn't be bad, but the giant discovery wouldn't be, uh, you know, a bad decision. I think that a giant discovery would be a great addition to the park. And I think that, you know, the giant discovery delivers a lot of exciting thrills. And of course, you've got that past relationship connection with Zamperla. So, you know, the connection's already there. And I think that compared to the Gyro swing, you've already got that Zamperla working relationship in order. 
So, um, I think that Giant Discovery would be a good fit for the park, and I think that that would be a good other route for the thrill rides and the flat ride uh, sort of, you know, direction for a new investment. Finally then, it's the one you coaster enthusiasts have been waiting for, and that is my coaster predictions. Now, I've got two in mind, and I think both of them would be incredible fits for the park. One of them is a single rail roller coaster by Rocky Mountain Construction, and the other one is a Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster. Now, I'm going to explain both in detail, so before you comment why, just, just you know, just listen to the whole thing before, at first. And, um, yeah, let's start off with the single rail then. So the single rail coaster is a compact thrill coaster. Um, I've spoken about it in the past. Reported cost of 7 million US dollars for uh, Rail Blazer at California's Great America, so... You know, I think if Silver were, were going to break the bank, I think they were going to do it with a custom layout. So, I think that we could see a custom layout version. We could see a clone. It could be. You never know. Uh, but I think I hope to see a custom layout if it is a single rail coaster. Um, and you've got to think, these are, you know, custom... Uh, if it's a custom model, and you've got to think this is a compact thrill coaster. You've got to think, for a part like Silverwood, who, compared to the likes of Cedar Point, Magic Mountain, King's Dominion, King's Island... You know, they're not the biggest of parks, so for a compact thrill coaster with limited capacity, this is the perfect fit for them, and this is a perfect way for them to stand out as well. This is going to be a standout addition. And of course, it's new fun in 2021, so, and you look at the, the style of the teaser, it looks very vintage and very classic, um, but it kind of gives, I don't know what it is, but like the, the banner where the new fun in before the 2021 at the bottom looks very driving school style i don't know what you think about it like a vintage driving school style thing uh so you know you could go on the driving school road for a family ride or you could go down the coaster route and if you use that kind of style of teaser then you could go for something like a, a like a, a car themed ride uh like a route 66 themed single rail coaster and the train design for it would be brilliant i mean you look at the the train design they did for, for Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster, the train design for Jersey Devil at Six Flags Great Adventure, I'm sure the train design for Six Flags Magic Mountain's Raptor, uh, hopefully still for 2021, um, yeah, I'm sure that will be good as well, uh, depending on what theme they go for, if it's Joker then they're going to do an excellent train design for Joker, um, but I think with the Route 66 theme, with Silverwood, if they do decide to add a custom Raptor, then you look at the design of it and you think they could do some incredible stuff. I mean, you look at Twisted Cyclone, uh, which is the RMC uh, conversion of Georgia Cyclone at Six Flags Ever Georgia. Look at the train design for that, and that looks very car-y kind of thing. And um, and you look at Lightning Rod at Dollywood, again, another RMC. Look at the train design for that. That's very hot rod, shot rod style uh, train design. So, if they gave it a Route 66 themed Raptor Coaster, if they do get this at the park, uh, custom design of course, then, you know, they could do an interesting looking train design for this. So, um, it would be nice to see that, but on the other hand, you've also got the other type of coaster, and that is a Gerstler Infinity. Now, you've got to look at Adventureland in Iowa. They are adding a 4D free spin. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what the price of a 4D free spin is. It is a custom layout from what I can see. It is shorter and not as tall as the other ones, but it is still a custom layout. Um, they must have broken the bank for that, even though they're removing the Hopkins Looper Dragon and bringing in this 40 free spin for some of the site. Then, you know, still, it, it, it's still breaking the bank for a modern thrill. Look at what Silverwood could do with an Infinity Coast, like a hang time at Knott's Berry Farm. Probably not a clone. I wouldn't see a clone. I, th I think with the coasters, with either coaster, it wouldn't be a clone in my opinion. I think it would be a custom layout. So, with the Gersire Infinity Coaster, maybe in the style or inspired by a hang time at Knott's Berry Farm, um, they could go along that style of ride. And I think that, you know, it's not the biggest footprint in the world. It's quite, it's, it, to be fair, it's quite a thin footprint because you've got to think. Hangtime at Nosbury Farm replaced the old boomerang at the park, so you've got to look at that and think, well, that is quite, it's not the biggest footprint, it's not the most outspread footprint in the world. So so if you look at what they did with Hangtime in the boomerang site, look what we could do with a with a, one of our biggest plots of land, wherever it is. So, you know, I think that a Gerstler Infinity Coaster with that kind of footprint, maybe a little more outstretched, but maybe not too much, maybe just in this... Again, inspired by hang time in terms of the footprint, the style of, you know, track layout to go for, the amount of versions you could have. 
Um, so not an entirely clone of Hang Time, but just inspired by different elements of Hang Time, like the footprint, the landscaping, the lighting. I mean, the lighting package potentially you could have with this would be amazing. Same with the Raptor. And, you know, again, these two options are probably the best options I could see for Silver Ward. I mean, my bonus option would be a suspended family or a suspended thrill coaster. But you've got to think, they've got Aftershock. So I think another inverted coaster or suspended coaster wouldn't be the best of senses. Um, they don't need another Woody because they've got two CCIs already. And they've got the Zamperla Mini Mine Train Coaster as well, which acts like a Woody, but it's not. It's a, it's a steel coaster. And, um, but it does get it. But to be fair, riding on one of those Railway Mine Train style coasters does give you a Woody type feel, doesn't it? Um, and it gives you a bit of a classic vintage feel. So. You know, it kind of feels like a Woody, but it's nice. It's a steel coaster. Uh, but but they have got two Woodies already at the park, so another Woody wouldn't make sense. Woody, a.k.a. Wooden Coaster. Um, and you look at Corkscrew, classic steel coaster. They don't really need much other steel coasters. They've got the single rail uh, rumour, well, option, that I've come up with, along with the Infinity Coaster, but they don't need a classic steel coaster, is what I'm saying. Um, and, of course, they've got their Family Kids Coaster, so... I think that another thrill coaster could be on the cards for Silverwood looking at the pattern. So I think that, you know, Silverwood definitely, I think this could be an underrated investment. I think if if it was a water park investment, we would have seen the Boulder Beach water park logo by now. Um, if it was a thrill ride investment, then, you know, again, we would have seen something, you know, different. Um, I think with the design of it, I think we could see some kind of vintage theme. And, you know, I think a lot of people are saying roller coaster, so I think I've got to agree with them. I think I'm looking here and looking at the options then, uh, I think I would give the water park investment a 15% chance. I would give the thrill ride a 30% chance because it's still potential. Um, so that means I would give the... Um, the coaster options, either an RMC Raptor or the, um, you know, the the the, the Gerstler Infinity coaster option, I would obviously, you know, uh, give that a um, a 55% chance. So I think it's more likely that we are going to see a coaster. Um, but I think that looking at Silverwood, I think that a coast, a new coast would be great for their lineup. And of course, it's been, you know, coming up to 2021, it will be seven years since their last coaster. So, you know, technically they're in need for a coaster. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, I'm Coach Child, dogs to born, but built for theme park news. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.